Today on Review This Thing, we're going to review this thing, the Delta McKenzie Big 8 Archery Target. Hey, this is Robbie with Review This Thing. Before we get into the Delta McKenzie Big 8 Archery Target Review, if you haven't, check out our website, ReviewThisThingTV.com, where you can sign up for our newsletter, new articles coming out every week. All right, let's get into the review. I absolutely love to bow hunt. It's probably my favorite type of hunting, as a matter of fact. If you've been with us very long, you may have seen the review that we did last year on the Bulldog FP Plus target. We still love that target because arrows are crazy easy to remove out of it, and it's still doing great even after a year being outside. The only problem with that Bulldog target is I can't shoot broadheads into it. I'm planning an upcoming elk trip this fall, and I definitely wanted to know what my broadheads would be doing at any range. And that brings us to the Delta McKenzie Big 8 target. Broadheads, I've been shooting it quite a bit now with broadheads and field tips alike, so we're ready to give you a review. Let's review this thing. As always on Review This Thing, we're going to give you the facts. The first part is fit. The Delta McKenzie Big 8 target comes in two sizes, a 16 inch and a 20 inch. We have the 20 inch XL target, so it comes in at 18 inches tall, 20 inches across, 13 inches deep, and weighs in at 24 pounds. I feel like the size of this target is plenty for what I need. It's not too heavy, it's not too big, it's easily gonna make it into the back of my truck for my trip out west, and the handles on the side make it really easy to carry around. Some of the painted dots are actually smaller than other targets that I've used, and I really like that because everyone always remembers aim small, miss small. If you really wanna decrease your shooting window and or limit your room for error, on the edges, it has even smaller dots painted. So the size of this target definitely fits my needs and I know it's gonna be in the back of my truck on many of my hunting trips. Because of that, we're gonna give Fit a five out of five. Now, is the Big A target as advertised? The first thing they advertise is a larger shooting area because of the hexagon design. But wouldn't there be more area to shoot at if it was a square? That's where the sides come in. Because of the hexagon design, it does give us eight different shooting surfaces and definitely increases your shooting area overall. The next thing they advertise is premium self-healing foam for extensive use. That seems to be true. You can see the spots where I've hit it with broadheads. While you can see where they've entered, it definitely doesn't look like it's opened up so much that it won't stop an arrow if an arrow hit in that exact same spot. I have hit the edges of the replaceable core and you can see where it chipped a little bit of foam off, but I don't think it's changed arrow penetration at all. There's only been one time that I pulled a broadhead out and a little bit of foam came out with it, but it's definitely not enough to affect performance. The next thing you advertise is a low pull force. Here's where I might disagree just a little bit. I would definitely say this is true with the broadheads. It does still take some force, but it's not that much. Field tips, a little bit of a different story. It's actually much harder for me to get a field tip out of this target than a broadhead. I bought one of those little arrow pullers and that helps a lot, but it's still not easy. Next up, they say it's speed rated for high performance crossbows. I don't have a crossbow, so this one I'm just gonna have to trust them on. My compound bow shoots at about 280 feet per second and it's done fine stopping these arrows. So for as advertised, I think it lines up with everything they say it will do except the low pull force. And because of that, we're giving it a four out of five. Now on to construction and durability. I definitely like the integrated handles. They're molded into the target, so it's not something that's attached that's easily gonna come off eventually. The only downside to these handles is it basically takes two hands to carry it. If you're like me and like to shoot from different spots, you're not gonna be able to carry your bow and the target at the same time. The Big 8 target does have a replaceable core. I did a fast search on the internet and was able to find several of the cores for around 90 bucks a piece. With all the different sizes to shoot at, I would think you'd have a hard time wearing that core out unless you shot at the core all the time. But here's one possible downside. The dots on the target are actually painted on. And you can see a couple of them have chipped off once you hit them with an arrow. I don't see that as much of a problem because it has so many different spots to shoot at or I just take some paint and repaint them. But if that's a deal breaker for you, then you might not want this target. It's made of a high density urethane foam. It has no trouble stopping my arrows and hopefully this high density foam will add to the life of the target. As far as durability goes, it just came out this spring. So not really sure about the longevity, but you guys know McKenzie makes really good targets. As with any targets, if you leave it sitting outside in the weather, it's probably gonna deteriorate faster. I built a little roof over mine, so we're hoping it lasts for a long time. With the main negative being the painted on dots, but really liking the integrated handles and the high density foam having no trouble stopping my arrows, we're gonna give construction and durability a 4.5 out of five. Now for testimonials and reviews. We really only were able to find one review and that review mentioned the painted on dots. So that guy was gonna send it back. We checked about 10 to 12 other websites and weren't able to find written reviews on them. So if you have this target and really like it, you might wanna go do a written review on it. So as you guys know, we're gonna give you the score that we found and that score for testimonials and reviews is a two out of five. Last but not least, should I buy this thing? 
As usual, it depends on what you're looking for. If all you ever shoot are field tips and you're looking for a target to have really easy error removal, you probably don't want to buy this one. Or if you're looking for a stationary target that you don't have to carry around, this one may not be big enough for you. But if you're looking to purchase one target that will do it all, shoot it with a compound bow, shoot it with a crossbow, shoot it with broadheads, shoot it with field tips, and throw it in the back of the truck with you to take on trips, this may be the one for you. Another factor to consider is the cost of the target. The 16 inch version is $190. The 20 inch version like this is $245. So this target really fits my needs, but because of the painted on dots, the difficulty in pulling a field tip out, and the $245 cost, I am gonna take a little bit off for that and give, should I buy this thing, a 4.5 out of five. Hey, thanks for watching our Delta McKenzie Big 8 target review. While you're here, watch a whole bunch of our other videos. If you like them, go ahead and click that thumbs up. If you really like what we do, subscribe if you haven't. Also, take a second to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, and our website, reviewthisthingtv.com.